Leonard Urack is an old salt at Kansas Fisheries Management. A field biologist for 37 years with Kansas Wildlife and Parks, he now manages 21 public waters in Region 5. Fall sampling at the outlet pond beneath Melvern Dam, he showed why this small impoundment is one of Kansas' most productive waters. Test nets yielded fish in excellent condition. What we're doing this time of year is we're running a fall gill net sample. Usually do that in October. It's uh, selective for catfish, walleye, wipers, and uh, crappie. Gives us a chance to look at those fish populations. In this small lake, what I'm intensively lo or looking at is uh, intensive management I'm using on catfish. We grow a lot of catfish in here. I feed them very heavily. And uh, looking at the quality of those fish, I can get an idea, you know, what's uh, still left, uh, the body condition, whether we're feeding them enough, if I can stock more, have more fish available. And then the uh, other fish I'm looking at in this lake is the wa uh, wipers and walleye. Those are my open water predators. The bass I'll sample in the spring with the uh, electrofishing gear. But today, the open water fish, I can catch a walleye and wipers. I need a good predator population to manage my shad. The best way to manage shad is put all the predator pressure you can on those. You want 99.9% .9 of the young of the year shad consumed by the fish. That's uh, good fish management, good return for the biomass. Uh, then it also provides uh, impetus for those shad to spawn the next year, the ones that are left, because they're in excellent condition, provide young of the year shad for uh, smaller fish like crappie. You maintain a high quality crappie fishery that way with the predators and with good shad populations. But today what we're doing is looking at the condition of that uh, end time of this fish population. And then we can compare long-term indices on this lake, see where the management's going, the population's going, and also compare it to other lakes. What we learn from this, we can improve our management in the future. Science is behind all of Kansas Wildlife and Parks management efforts. If you're a Kansas angler, you can be sure that guys like Leonard Yurak will always work hard to improve our resources. Sampling now means better fishing later. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.